what made Prodigy amazing to me was just he could tell anybody what he was going through. Like, everybody felt what he was saying in any song he wrote, you know what I mean? The, the, the stuff is so vivid and so potent and so, like, near to, you, to anybody who's been through struggles, like, you know what I'm saying, heart, like, that dude was the best, man. Pac and Big and Big L and Pun, like, they, they had short careers. They only had two records, most of them maybe one, you know what I mean? Prodigy got endless amount of music. Like, he's gonna live on forever. He's, he's definitely a big loss for hip hop, for sure. A memorable moment with Mob Deep was the first time we did a show with them was with uh, in, uh, in Italy. It was our first time doing a thousand capacity sold out venue. This is like 2011, you know, it's me in turn. But this is Mob when um, Prodigy's in jail. So it's uh, annoyed, and at the, at the time it was on point, was a DJ. And I just remember it like he wasn't not there, you know what I'm saying? Like, like he was there, you know, annoyed, like held that down so ill, you know? So that was one memorable moment. Another one was a couple weeks ago before he passed away, I went to um, Static Selectors, like he had a private party for his Rock Nation signing. He had Joy Badass hosting, and we were all there drinking and eating and stuff. And then Prodigy comes through, you know, started calling him and have him come through. And out of nowhere, it just boom, he drops uh, Shook Ones. He starts doing Shook Ones right there. You know, everybody's pulling out the phones, like, what? You know? Then he does uh, Quiet Storm right after that. You know, everything's cool, chill, peace, boom, he's out, right out the door. You know what I mean? That was the last time I saw him. But one of the greatest, man. Rest in peace.